While the propaganda drum beats promote JF-17 to the next best Pakistan Air Force fighter after F-16, the reality is completely different. Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are going to talk about the Pakistan's much celebrated JF-17 fighters based on an article published in a Greek tabloid Penta Postagama. The link for the article can also be found in the description section of the video. With the dream to develop a low-cost, lightweight, all-weather, multi-role fighter, Pakistan and China signed an agreement on joint development and production of JF-17 Thunder. Pakistan envisioned the fighter jet to be comparable to S-230 MKI, MiG-29 and Mirage 2000 feet of Indian Air Force. However, the fighter jet completely failed to meet its design capabilities due to the low cost and poor quality Chinese components and weapons. The huge maintenance cost of the fighter jets has further burnt hole in the pocket of Pakistani Air Force. Now first, let's look at its production and maintenance. The Pakistan Aeronautical Complex PAC camera is supposed to have 58% share in the production. However, the reality is completely different. PAC only manufactures certain sub-assemblies such as wings, front fuselage and tail with material once again imported from China. It would be prudent to call PAC only as a similar unit while all its components are manufactured and maintained by China. The world is already aware of the quality of Chinese products and need no further explanation. 40% of Pakistani Air Force JF-17 are grounded just because of technical and structural issues. Next, let's talk about its electronic and avionics. A modern fighter requires reliable system on board with minimal maintenance problem. The aircraft's capability is judged by the aeronautical systems, weapons and engine that equip it and JF-17 fails miserably in all these parameters. For example, the Link 17 data link of JF-17 is not only unreliable but also does not have sufficient data transfer rate and cannot be integrated with F-16 which limits its interoperability. The JF-17 does not have an effective beyond visual range radar. The KLJ-7 radar has been battered with several issues since the beginning of JF-17 project and now faces many operational and maintenance challenges. The weapon control computer WMMC of JF-17 has a high failure rates for some of its modules causing failure in launch of air-to-air -air missiles in various combat exercises. It is so unreliable that Pakistan Aeronautical Complex is now trying to intervene in WMMCS. Talking about its weapon, the built-in 23mm gun has initially encountered air jam problem and later several other issues surfaced. The weapon package includes only Chinese SD-10 BVR missile, REK and C802 AK missiles apart from the conventional MiG-21 weapon payloads. Now let's look at its engine. The engine used in JF-17 is a Russian RD-93 engine which is a cheap variant of RD-33 which itself is declared useless. The engine is also notorious for generating thick black smoke which can be spotted from miles away. Pakistan has raised serious concern with China about the repeated failure and high unreliability of these engines. China is also facing problems in the supply of these engines from Russia due to an embargo imposed on financial transaction. There are many other issues observed in the fighter jet. The nose landing gear shakes while taxiing and a number of aircraft experience those nose wheel vibrations. The ventral trails of many JF-17 fighters were found cracked, indicating poor metallurgy and design. The high rate of non-serviceability, repeated engine crashes and poor spare parts makes JF-17's expensive and less reliable platform while overall reducing the availability of fighter jets. Pakistan is now eyeing on Chinese J-10 fighters, which is more reliable platform than JF-17. While J-10 is cheaper at its initial price of 25 million US dollar each, however, the depreciation of Pakistani rupee at utmost 30% will make the purchase of aircraft an expensive affair for Islamabad. 
the Pakistan's financial problems have led to non-payment and large outstanding of a few hundred million dollars to Chinese for JF-17 project. Even if China continues to supply these spare parts, it will be at exorbitant prices which will escalate every year. The biggest question before the debt-ridden Pakistan is, does it worth to spend more than $3 billion to acquire the 3.5 generation fighters? This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.